Hi, this is Rachel Koklowski, Cooking with Mrs. G, and it's mid-June. This is a great time to get cattail pollen. So cattails are known as the supermarket of the forest because they have so many different edible parts uh, that you can harvest at different times of the year. So at this time of the year, what I am going to forage is the pollen on the male flower, which is just above the female part of the of the cattail okay so the cattails are also easier to identify at this time of the year because you can see the little the, the female part of the of the plant here which looks like the corn dog on a stick is already looking very recognizable so this is the male part and the pollen is very nutritious and it's also great for allergies for hay fever because when you consume this pollen it's kind of like a, a bee pollen supplement so it's very um, easy to, to collect the pollen. All you have to do is put this top of the flower into a paper bag and just sort of shake it because as you can see, the pollen just comes right off, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, the best time to collect this is um, when it hasn't rained for at least a few days because the rain would obviously wash away the pollen. It hasn't rained for a very long time. So there's a lot of pollen on these male flowers, so it's a great time to harvest it. So we'll just pause for a second and um, try not to harm the cattail. I'm just gently bending it into the bag, shaking it, see? So now the pollen is, is gone. Okay, and there's plenty other cattails for the bees to collect the pollen from, but you can see I've got a little tiny bit of pollen, maybe about a you know, two, teaspoons down there and what I will do with this pollen is I can replace 25% of flour in a mixture like if I were to make pancakes or waffles um, I just use this as part of my flour in any recipe that calls for flour this is Rachel Gokoloski cooking with Mrs. G you can see me on Facebook Instagram on Etsy and on YouTube